You know, over the past couple of years, I've actually been kind of just freaked out when we started doing remote interviews and remote working, all the remote uh, meetings that we're now doing. Well, imagine taking that to the next level. You're looking at the new robot here that you could take and do a meeting and actually do physical tasks in someone else's living room or office. Uh, this is all done by Tangible Research. This is a team out of Northern California and also collaborating with a team from the UK. Jeremy is here to tell us a little bit more about the robot that you call Ada. So for the, for the people who are at home and looking at this for the first time, tell us about this uh, technology. How does this all work? Yeah. So thanks for uh, having us. We're really excited to have you here. Uh, this is Ada, a robot we put together uh, with a lot of our teams uh, incorporating some fairly sophisticated technology. Uh, what you see here, we've got these sophisticated robotic hands with human-like dexterity and kinematics made by our partner Shadow Robot Company in London. Uh, we've got these really neat green fingertips uh, made by a company called Syntouch, and these allow you to feel touch just like you would with your own fingertips. In fact, uh, Jacob, can I get you to close your eyes? I'm going to poke a finger and you tell me which one you feel, all right? Yes. That was my oh, we give it a wiggle for he, the camera, he, he, he right? Says the pointer finger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You got to give it a wiggle for the camera. There you go. That, that, so that, he, could, he could even feel it if you want to come closer here. We could even feel as we move around on the fingertip, he knows where I'm touching. So which this is, is really all exciting. part of a competition here. You're one of yeah. 17 teams from 10 different countries around the world. What are some of the different tasks that you're going to be required to do over the next two days? Yeah, so there's a lot of complicated interactions that we need to do. We need to pick up and operate a drill. We need to be able to slide our fingers over different rocks of different texture and be able to discriminate the rough rock and the smooth rock, which we can do very well with this technology. We've got to pick up canisters of different weights and see what's heavy. All right, we're going to be going to the course uh, in the next hour, so you'll see these things actually at work. FoxLA.com is where you need to go. If you need, want to go see these robots in person, they'll actually let you operate some of, the, some of the robotics here. It is free to the public. You can walk on into Long Beach Convention Center or register online. Where do you see this in the future? How, how are we going to be using this in our own lives? Yeah, we think this technology is going to be fantastic in the future allowing people to interact at a distance whether that's being in a dangerous environment or a place that's not safe or yep. we don't want people or just being able to be close to your friends and family at a distance so imagine know? like us and you're going to send a reporter out you don't want to send the reporter out to a dangerous situation why not just send ada because ada could do it themselves right ada there you go look at that back to you <laughs> Mic drop, Ada. Mic drop. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Ada still has some work to do, Bobby.